Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to be looking at how to numerically approximate the value of a limit. Uh, we we're given some indication that we we're looking for four decimal places and we need to understand what is it about a limit that allows me to decide if I have enough accuracy. Um, I want to highlight uh, something important here first of all that there's a function, a formula, that's the input to the limit. So this formula is the input to the limit and it's used to generate our values. Okay, second thing is there's some information here about my x. Um, my x is approaching 1. So what this is telling me is, in my mind at least, I need to think about there's this table of values. I've got x values and I've got function values. And the, In this example, the function is this formula 2 to the x minus 2 over x minus 1. And um, our x values need to be getting closer and closer to 1. So I'm going to start creating a table of x values, and when I think about things that are getting close to 1, I'm going to be generating decimal values where um, I find it most convenient to do it one decimal place closer at a time. So 1, I could think of as 1.0, and so one decimal away from that would be 0 0.9, or maybe 1.1 on the other end. And to get um, a decimal place closer, the next one I need to do 0.99, and then 0.999. And so you can see I'm um, progressively getting closer and closer um, to x equals 1. So this four values is maybe a good start. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to use a calculator um, to find the values using this formula um, of what happens when you put 0.9 into my function. Okay, and it's important that I use parentheses um, in the right way, especially if my calculator doesn't do nice fraction form like this. So I'm going to do 2 to the power of my x value minus 2, and then divide it by x minus 1, where x is going to be replaced by uh, my decimal value. All right, so what do we get? Um, I have 2 to the power 0 0.9 minus 2 close parentheses, divided by 0 0.9 minus 1 in parentheses, and I get and I get 1.33934. Now I need four decimal places, so I'm going to go past the spot where I get four decimal places. So I have 1.339 and then some additional digits. I'm going to now do the 0 0.99 into my formula. So I have 2 to the power 0.99 minus 2, and I'll divide it by 0 0.99 minus 1, and this time I get 1.3815009. And I should maybe put a 0 up there. So notice this time, at four decimal places, I'm at 1381. And um, I'm still changing, so my four decimal places are not the same as I had before. I'm, I'm still changing. Um, this tells me that I'm not far enough into my table to find the right value. So I do the next value, 0 0.999. 2 to the power, 0 0.999, minus 1, minus 2, sorry. And divide it by 0 0.999, minus 1. And what do I get? I get 1.385800. Okay, so at four decimal places, um, I'm still changing. 1381, I've now 1385. You can see I'm not changing as fast. It's changing a lot slower. So let's do one more value. Um, if I do 0.999 in my formula, four nines, 2 to the power of 0.9999 minus 2 divided by 0.9999 minus 1. And what am I at? I'm at 1.3. Eight, six, two, four. 
I'm still changing in that fourth decimal place. Well, the fourth digit. So let's go one more digit, nine, 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 five nines in a row. And this time I get 1.386289. So notice the 1386 is still the same. Two is even the same, next digit after. Um, if I kept going, it might round up to 63. Um, but I've got a pattern that it's approximately, so we can now finish our statement, the limit of my formula. This is my function. When x gets closer and closer to 1 is approximately, and we don't know exactly the value because we only have a table here, 1.386, and let's round it to 3. And so my um, digits are converging. They're no longer changing. Um, the, the closer I'm getting to 1 in my x's, the closer this is to not changing anymore. That's the idea of numerically approximating a limit.